Hey, what's going on? Wannabe Leafy is here. It right right here. And yeah, welcome back for the 50,000th time of me leaving and coming back. Yeah, it's been a long journey. Um I was supposed to buy a new PC. That was my original plan, but instead I got a VR. <laughs> And my PC can't do the best with it, but, you know, I manage. So when I finally do get a new PC, I'm going to record a lot more so you don't have to wait, like, two months. I'm pretty sure it's been two months at this point. I'm, I don't even know when this video's going to actually come out. But, yeah, new videos are going to come out. Hopefully I get a new webcam at that point because I'm planning on buying a camera at some point down the road. But who knows when that ever is going to happen. Uh... And yeah, I've been working a lot, so that's also why I haven't been recording. So anyways, without further ado, let's finally get on with the video. What's up? Anybody watching the video Iconic? And in today's video, it is... This, this pretty much has been trending for quite a while, and um... The video we are going to be, like, talking about, it's a crazy one. It's just, <laughs> the fucking title of this video is called My GF is Old Enough to Be My Grandmother. Like, someone's been watching a lot of porn, and, like, I know I probably have kid audiences, and I said words that are naughty, but you, at some point they're going to learn, am I right about this? Like, come on, no, I'm just kidding. Just playing. Just playing. It must suck to be a parent to, like, have to do that whole teaching thing right and this video has been out for like a good four months i believe because that's what it says four moments never mind no it's been 10 months and this video is now and this situation is trending i guess because you know tiktok they got famous off of tiktok sharing their letting people know about their stuff on tiktok because that's the best site to say what you want to feel because uh you definitely won't get freaking cyberbully up the ass for that i i would know i used to be a part of the cyberbully saga but then uh tables have turned i got cyberbullied for a bit and then i lost my cred but without further ado let's get into this video so grab your grandma grab an old lady off the street grab a <laughs> what the fuck am i talking about get some popcorn get some oatmeal oatmeal Oatmeal. It's called oatmeal, not oatmeal. If you call it that, then you're weird. But anyways, get a nice, um, nasty tropical, um, orange juice. I don't know why you people would drink that. P uh, simply orange is the best way to go. And get a couple and sit them down so you can know what a real, beautiful, loving couple is. And this will be your homework or something about how to get a perfect relationship. So without further ado, pa 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 play that shit. This is Karan. He fell in love with Cheryl. I can't keep her hands off me. <laughs> she gave me aroused. I'm telling you, it happens so often. <laughs> Lord. Okay, like honestly, what the hell is this? Like, we we're not even. That's like literally the beginning of the vi of the video. Literally, him talking about how she can't keep her hands off of him. We know what they're talking about, and this guy wants to openly admit that like he gets aroused by this girl 24/7. And not only that. I'm pretty sure in this video, they don't do any favors for her. They make her look like a damn walker from the Walking Dead series, dude. I'm telling you, it doesn't work out. And they make it, they make her look like she's literally decaying, like she's from Go a Goosebumps uh, episode or something like that. You know the one where, like, that girl goes to the mask shop and, like, she looks for a different mask? Literally, if you can mold the freaking horns on her forehead, it will look the exact same. Look, I know it's probably fucked up me to, like, disrespect an old lady like this, but, um, yeah, you put yourself on the internet, so, you know, um, yeah, also, this isn't Dre talking, it's freaking Mason talking, if anyone gets that reference, but, yeah, you, you kind of fucked yourself. Like, I'm telling you, they make her not look the best. And I've seen attractive old women, so, you know, I, I would know. Their love started through TikTok. But many people were quick to judge their 37-year age gap. They call her a zombie, the walking dead. How can you date your grandma? They got to a point, I was like, hey, they all think we're lying. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, I did watch this, but I forgot about the comment, the, the, the comments they talked about, which, 
<laughs> Come on. Like, you gotta admit that first, like, the first image you see of her in this video, she she, she kind of looked like a, a walker, you know? Just, anyways, like, <laughs> you could tell the comments get to them, and I'm just like, if it gets to you, like, be one of those people and, like, private your account or private your, what is it called, comment section, because, like, you pretty much ask for it, like, dude, I don't know why people think it's a safe place on the internet, literally, you're going to get roasted anytime, you're going to have supporters, but most of the time, you're going to get shit on, like, I'm, I'm not going to lie, you're going to get more shit on than a porn star. My very first job, her son was my boss. <laughs> she would always come up there and get food and speak to everyone there. After eight years of friendship, they found love through their mutual interest in TikTok. You know, I'll never believe someone who is young, at, at younger, if they're not in their 40s or at least late 30s, I don't believe that they, this people can be loyal to a senior citizen when, they, when they're dating them and stuff like that. Because I feel like they're just in it for the money after they pass away. That's how I always see it. I don't care if it's a guy or girl. I, it's the same situation for me. I don't care who the person is who dates an old woman or old man. I've always seen it as they want the money when they're passing away. <laughs> like, that's how I always see it. Not only that, I feel like there's just some kind of tension between the boss and that guy. Because why would you date his mom or grandma? His mom, I think it was the mom. Like, he, the boss must have been a jerk to him where he's like, I'm going to seek revenge, and he dates her. And I feel like he's kind of getting some shit out of it. Because I bet he's like, look, I won't do your mom if you do this for me, <laughs> give you a pay raise. <laughs> like, do you think that could work? Because honestly, that'd be stupid if that actually would. I don't want to give anyone ideas if, when they start working. That'd be really terrible if that actually managed to happen. When we first started making TikToks, we would probably see each other once a week or twice a week. We opened up to each other, we got closer. I asked her out and I caught feelings first. <laughs> she gave me this dream. I woke up and I was just aroused and I told her about it. Okay, so I'm going to take back what I said about the least thing. I think this guy just wants a good time with an old woman, you know, because... You know, I think, old. you know, I guess he was like, you know, what if an old woman does it? You know, he looked for the really old woman, you know, the one to take, take her dentures out. So, so you, you know, you can have a better chance because we know why you would pick an old woman in a situation like this because to take their dentures out. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, fellas? We all thought about it that one time when we were like young and probably nowadays here and there, but still probably wouldn't go through with it. But we all thought the same thing. I'm pretty sure. And not only that, why is, like, why, like, literally every TikTok video, it seems like she's trying to twerk. Like, look, uh, do your thing, but it's, like, there's some people who should, like, work on their craftsmanship when it comes to certain things. And, um, I'm sorry, woman, your twerking can't be your thing, you know? It just can't be your thing. Because, uh, you do it like a crackhead, I'm not gonna lie, like, I, I couldn't stare, I, I couldn't stare, not only that, because, you know, I, I'm not into the whole doing a, a walker from the walking, t I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it was, that, that's, that's still funny to me, and you gotta admit that I, I'm, I am right, it, it's, the similarities are there. Between me and Cheryl, we have over a million followers together, and 20 million likes, and we get like 10,000 hate comments a day. It's horrible. We can um, actually pull some up right now. He's trying to collect that insurance money. When you married the cast from The Walking Dead. Don't be rough with her. You will break her bones. Look, let's be honest though. That last comment, it was a warning. Like, you should be gentle. Like, what, what if like you make her go handicapped? Not for like the reasons like... It's big, <laughs> it's big, but like, you know, just for the reasons, cause like, you could, you could like, you know, you know, could, might have to take her to a hospital after that, like, she's not gonna walk again, but um, I said that last comment was just looking out, I don't, I don't see it as a hate comment, or a disrespectful comment, it's just, it could be facts, you know, and honestly, I'm kind of jealous, you know, I've, I've been trying to get hate comments a lot, I mean, I got it like two different times when I did TikTok, and I might go back, you know, to see if I can start the pot again. But, you know, that's just me. But anyways, comment down below a bunch of hate comments towards me so I can feel good about myself again. 
please do it right now. Not clickbait. I will read them and respond to them and like the post just to get more hate attention. Let's start doing this. Let's make this the most hated comment. This is stupid. I, I'm sorry. That was really cringy. Not like it was cringe before, but you know. And who gets the worst comments of between two? Me. The negative comments affect me horribly sometimes. They make me cry. I can't handle some of it. A lot of this stuff is so hurtful. I'm trying to spread positivity. Like a lot of kids love us and stuff and you can't spread, spread positivity when there's negative attacking you back to back. Sometimes it gets rough doing that, but I still do it. Okay, look, it doesn't matter if you're like positive or negative. Like I think there was a YouTuber a member that would try to spread the positivity a lot and they still got hate or whatever. I don't know. But not only that, there was a clip where they sh where it was like them two making a TikTok video and then it said when you're 60 and he's 23. Like, and they're doing a lap. It seemed like it was a laughing soundtrack in the background. If you, I didn't, I couldn't hear the video because, you know, they, they had to muffle the audio. But still, you kind of, you kind of ask for it. Look, let's be honest. Every, like, when you start posting on the internet, you start getting a little following, you're expected to get hate, okay? It's like an unwritten contract that happens when you do it. Like, even I got hate. Like, well, I, I asked for it. I'm not going to lie, I asked for it. But still, it's like, <laughs> no matter who you are or what you do, you're going to get hate regardless. So you got to, like, fucking suck it up, not be so sensitive about it, and just deal with it. And... <laughs> Shoot, I mean, yeah, you can have people to talk to, and there's always going to be support, but still, you're going to get shit on, you're going to get hated, I, I should stop saying shit on, because now it's starting to sound weird, but, um, yeah, you're expected to get hate, like, there, no one is safe, not even special people, like, literally, I go on TikTok, back in the day, I used to go on TikTok a lot, and there was special ed kids getting hated, dude, <laughs> they were getting roasted, and, like, that shit was crazy to me. And that just made me realize no one is safe, dude. Like, if someone who is who has, like, autism or and stuff like that are, isn't safe from the hate, dude, what makes you think you are? Like, it doesn't even matter if you're, like, the most positive person. You can definitely, like, be the type of person to, like, like do charity events, be a marker player, I, I should say, and do all this stuff. But you're still going to get hate, dude. Even Mark gets hate, and he's about a lot of stuff. Like... No one is saved, dude. I bet Jesus Christ himself, God himself, they would get hate if they did social media. If that, if that, if that ever happened, that'd be, that'd be really interesting to see what they would post. Some members of Cheryl's family have also not been accepting of her relationship with a younger man. I have a problem with my family, like my kids. I have seven children and some of them are not with me right now because they're not behind me, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna let that interfere with my relationship. They're all grown. All I ask for them to do is stick by me. That's it. My mom actually likes Cheryl. My siblings like Cheryl. Like, they actually enjoy her because they know she makes me happy. All right, so um, <laughs> that's kind of a, uh, I'm gonna be that one guy just to stir the pot and just like cause drama if this ever blows up again. But like, I'm just gonna say, you know, what if it's because, you know, that the the woman, you know, I forgot what was it, Cheryl? I'm just gonna call her Cherry or Cheryl. I don't remember the name. You know, what if your family's not accepting because, you know, he's black? It's because he's black. <laughs> it's not because he's waiting for the welfare check, you know what I'm saying? But it's because you're black, bro. Get out. Part three. Did they make a part? They did make a part two. Let's be honest. If you do, you guys know JID that rapper? Doesn't the person on the Get Out Two look like JID? <laughs> but um, um, other than that, dude, it's cause you're black. Your family accepts her because she's white. <laughs> Sorry, I should have be chucked. Uh, my my humor has not changed. So um, just be aware of that in the future when I start making jokes that I don't feel like you know cropping out the video. But seriously, though, like, I wouldn't be accepting if someone who's close or, like, at my age was dating my family, my mom, because, um, hell no, I'll fucking kill you, dude. I have Lucille right over the skin, <laughs> but, like, yeah, no, who would be accepting towards that, dude? Like, honestly, who? I don't even know anyone who would be, unless if, like, 
you just don't care about anything at all. If you had a message to give anybody who doesn't agree with your relationship, what would it be? You will never find happiness if you spew hate. So we're happy. You can't stop us. The love is always going to be here. So we're going to continue to go, regardless of your opinion, if it's good or bad. Yes. Amen. It's not just us. It's other interracial relationships, other couples hey. who have age gaps. And we, we stand up to show out, hey, anybody can find love no matter what the yes. age, race, or color. Love is Okay, well, that last part, it was kind of a questionable thing to say because <laughs> true, anyone can find love, but some of those people could be going to jail at some point, right? <laughs> like, I, I know what he meant, like, the age gap, like, legal age, but, um... Someone's going to take that the wrong way at some point that um, they're going to be like, I looked back on this video and was like, that's the reason why I got with a minor. <laughs> no, that's that's really fucked. But like, just clarify a little bit. Do a little clarification of what you mean by that statement. But on a serious note though, guys, they're not hurting anyone. And I still will never believe someone who is younger than a senior citizen, who is not in senior citizen status, uh, and they did a senior citizen, I don't believe they're doing it for the love. I feel like they're doing it for the money. And that's how I always will think. No matter what the situation is or whatever. And yeah, that's the moral of the story for me at least. Um, <laughs> so if you're new to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button. Notification to all because I post randomly every week of every month. Or at least a, once a week of every month, because that's what it's looking. That's what it's been looking like recently. But I promise you, I'll try every week now. I might record like this because I my PC can't handle opening up two OBSs with a face cam and stuff. So yeah, this could be the new way of posting again. Just no webcam for me for a little bit of a time until until I buy the parts to the new PC. But anyways, yeah. Subscribe, notification to all, leave a like on this video if you want, you know, it would be nice if you could. Comment down below, that would be nice too. And share the video with friends, not family. Probably family if they're into offensive jokes and stuff like that because I might do that again. And wear your mask, eat your vitamins, drink your water, of course, eat your veggies. That's important too. And your fruits, that's also important. And simply orange. I mean, uh, is the best orange juice. Don't don't attack me on that. It's a fact. By the way, not sponsored, but I should be.